Good evening, YouTube. This is Johnny. Time to to uh, film a video. I I was looking at my uh, YouTube site, and it's been three days since I made a video, and uh, time just keeps zooming by. So I thought uh, since I have some little time. It's halftime right now. I've been watching professional football, the Kansas City Chiefs and the Patriots. And my wife went to church tonight. It is a Sunday night here in West Michigan. It is 6.13 in the evening. It is December the 8th, 2019. Pursuit will be in the year 2020, which could be uh, the end of this present evil age and that we could be entering into the eternal kingdom of glory where the Lord Jesus Christ will reign forever but we'll see in the meantime we just work out our salvation with fear and trembling and eagerly wait for our Lord to return as far as my diary December the 2019 I ended today on page 1007 for the year 2019. I can't wait to be on January the 1st, 2020 and be on page one. So, uh, so three days have passed. Uh, last Friday, I volunteer at the library used bookstore, the book nook, which you all know, and these are the books I brought home from the book nook, used books. I got these for five dollars, and I was looking at this uh, this cart of used books in the back, and I noticed this book by John Crowley, "The Solitudes," Book One of the Egypt Cycle, and I noticed in the back that this book was had critical acclaim and that uh, his books were enshrined by Herod, uh, Herod, Herod Bloom and the Western Canon. Well, to me, if Harold Bloom, the very famous literary critic who's written books, I have five of his books in our library. If he put these books in the Western canon, I thought to myself, they must be worth reading. So, and I noticed that they were all there on in the back room, that they had been donated by somebody to the library. And the first one in the cycle is The Solitudes by John Crowley. And that's why I've been reading since Friday. Uh, so I've been reading this one, The Solitudes by John Crowley. It says here in the back, meet Pierce Moffat, unorthodox historian and dabbler in ancient astrology, myths and beliefs, jilted and newly jobless. Moffat by chance gets off a bus in the far away, far away hills where he steps into a story that seem to have been waiting for him when he comes upon an unknown manuscript of a local writer fellows craft Moffat's course is charted as he endeavors to answer a rather curious question well uh, I started reading this when I was at the book nook Friday and it was it's very literary it's very intellectual but it's kind of uh, uh, sparked my curiosity how this cycle will end. The second book in the cycle, the Egypt cycle is Love and Sleep by John Crowley. The third is Demomania by John Crowley. This is considered the third in the cycle and then you have part of Egypt Endless Things by John Crawley. So I got these at the book nook and I, I don't know if I'll read all four volumes. This is another novel by John Crowley, Little Big, 
winner of the World Fantasy Award by John Crowley, author of Love and Sleep and Egypt. So I got these at the Book Nook Friday. I got them for $5. I thought, you can't go wrong for $5. So I've been primarily reading this, like you all know, that Saturday and Sunday I watch football, college football on Saturday. And tonight I've been watching the Kansas City Chiefs and the Patriots, reading The Solitudes. So that's what I've been primarily reading. In the mornings I've been reading for devotions, meditation, and communion with God, contemplating scripture in the age of distraction by John Jefferson Davies. Really enjoying this. And I've been reading The Ascent of Mount Carmel by St. John the Cross in the collected works of St. John the Cross. So I was reading this uh, this morning. Also I've been reading uh, selected works of Robert Rollick. I was reading his treatise on effectual calling, uh, which is basically uh, a very summation of systematic theology. And I was reading on God's effectual calling. So I was reading that today. So that's basically what I've been reading. The Solitudes by John Crowley. I've been reading Effectual Calling, a, a systematic theology treatises by Robert Rolick. And reading The Ascent of Mount Carmel by St. John of the Cross and reading Meditation and Contemplation, Meditation and Communion with God, Contemplating Scripture in the Age of, of Distraction by John Jefferson Davies. So it's been kind of quiet around here. I did, you did notice that on Friday after I had the book nook, my wife and I, we went to Grand Haven. We were gonna go to the Grand Haven Public Library used bookstore, the ch Cheap Stacks, but we got to the library and the cheap stacks, the used bookstore, was closed. The volunteers who were supposed to be there never showed up. So the store was closed. So what we did while we were in Grand Haven, we visit thrift stores. And I have a stack of used books that I got at Grand Haven Friday at Goodwill and some other thrift store, which I will show in a future video. I just want to... Uh, touch base, tell you guys that I'm still living, the world has not come to an end, that God still reigns in the heavens and the earth. Writing in my two, 2000, December 2019 diary, tomorrow's December the 9th, 2019. Tomorrow is a Monday, which means that once again I volunteer at the library use bookstore, the book nook. Uh, and then I don't know what I'm going to do. I did get a book in the mail Saturday, which I'll show in a future video. I'm supposed to get a book in the mail this week, uh, a 17th century English Puritan reprint by the great English Puritan divine Jeremiah Burroughs, which I have done a video in the past on all his books. I think I have by Jeremiah Burroughs his Puritan reprints, maybe 10 or 12 of his books. This is a new one, and I will show that in a future video. It's supposed to get in the mail this week. So I hope you're having a good reading weekend. Hope you're having, you'll have a good new week as we go through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, and you can't stop the flow of, of existence. We just have to keep seeking the Lord as we are and uh, just going through our life. So I thank you for the comments. Thank you for the new subscribers. I do pray you're all doing well. And yeah, so uh, come quickly, Lord Jesus. Until next time, bye.